Hello and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Today's video is about hinge clamps and I wanted to share with you all the whole concept of hinge clamps because a lot of you work at home and some of you, you know, send me messages about, well, we just want to print a one color shirt, a dozen of them, and, you know, we're not going to do it all the time, but we want to do it at home and this and that. Um, so hinge clamps are actually really cool devices to use for simple one color print jobs on t-shirts or um, for flat work like uh, posters or um, cards and things like that that you can print flat. Okay, so basically hinge clamps are these two little things that I have right here. Okay, these are Speedball Deluxe hinge clamps. Take a look, close up look at them. So here's a quick close-up of the Speedball Deluxe hinge clamps and as you can see it's a pretty simple device or they are pretty simple devices and you need a pair of them to uh, use in the fashion that we are going to use them in this video. Alright so we're going to need a pair of them and the idea is, is that what we're going to do is we're going to screw these down to a board. Okay. I have a board here and ultimately the result is, is that we're going to be able to put a screen in these hinge clamps and it's going to be like a little clamshell deal on this board. Okay, so let me show you the board. Alright, so you're going to need the hinge clamps of course, right? You're going to need uh, four screws and here's the screws that I used because this is an MDF board or a press board type wooden thing. So I use these screws here. Take a look. These are the four screws that I'm going to use today. I'm not sure if they're exactly the appropriate screws I should be using for this MDF press board type stuff, but it's what I have. So I chose ones with a decent bite on the thread and uh, we're gonna see how these four screws work for us. But you'll need four screws that are gonna be able to go into your board that you choose to screw your hinge clamps into or onto. All right, so I'm going to use those four screws, right? You're going to need, um, in, in addition to the screws, the um, hinge clamps and the board that you're going to use. You're going to need a pencil and a ruler, all right? Here's my board here. It's a pretty big board. It's an oversized pallet that was damaged, so I'm going to use this, all right? And you're going to need... Uh, a set of drill bits because you're going to want to drill the holes for the hinge clamps to screw into. You're going to pre-drill them so you're going to also need a drill. Okay so the first thing I got to do and this is really this is all there is to it. I, I, all I have to do is is decide where I want my hinge clamps on the board and make markings for them. Okay so I've already made marks for where I want my hinge clamps to be so let's pre-drill the holes and then we'll screw them in and I'll show you how it works. Now you can see here that I've already marked my board. I, I'm putting my hinge clamps about three inches inside on either side. Okay, so I used my ruler to mark it and the pencils to put where I want the little holes. All right, so this is about round about where my clamps will be after I drill the holes and screw them in. Okay, so let's let's drill the holes and uh, screw them in. I'm just drilling like holes to get them started because it's press board and such. I want the screw to bite into a lot of the wood. Okay. So it's, it's just a little starter hole is what it is. Okay, so. So I'm, not, I'm trying not to go all the way through the board. 
but I want it to be enough that the screw will bite and go in without uh, damaging the board or anything, all right? So there we have that. All right, hang on a second. Let's see here, hang on guys. Forgot to grab a screwdriver. Okay, so here we go. That's the other thing you're gonna need is a screwdriver. <laughs> For, your, for whatever type screws you have. So let's see, hopefully these holes are gonna be big enough for me to not have an issue here. I think they're all right. Yeah, that's pretty good, they're pretty tight. You want them to be tight, you know, and I could probably put some uh, wood glue in here when you screw these down or something, you know, how they put glue in the screws. You could do that. Okay, so, just make them nice and snug. Don't strip them out or anything. Okay, one more. And then the device is done, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, get these snug. Snug them up nice, but don't over tighten them. I mean, you know, you probably could use. Uh, the, you know, wood glue or glue inside the screw hole, and you could even put a glue underneath the bracket against the pallet board, you know, and that would help as well. All right, so let me change camera angles and set up and show you how this little device works. All right, so now we have the hinge clamp board set up, all set here, okay, and all I'm going to do is show you how the screen goes in. You take a screen just like you would on a press and you got to spin these things up to the top. Okay, and then it's as simple as this. It goes in and you screw these down. Snug them up a little bit, and there you go. You have basically a clamshell little tabletop press that you can print t-shirts or flat work on. It. Now, there's actually a little bit of a space because of the way the hinge clamps work, so it might be a good idea to set up a spacer on this side, and you know, ideally, it gives you a bit of off contact, so. You may want to, you know, ideally, you could sink these clamps into the board. Like if you're a woodworker and you can actually sink them into the board a little bit to reduce the uh, off contact that's going to be present, that would probably be best because it is a little high like this. So um, once you get that done, you could put a spacer over here on this end just to hold, to hold it up. And uh, that's about it. But you can use hinge clamps on a tabletop or big flat boards and stuff like this to create a, a really quick, easy, one color printing situation. Okay, and that's it. The, you know, the worst thing that you're going to have to figure out is definitely the off contact. Because the way I did it here with them screwed just on top, it's a little high. So I would probably definitely recommend sinking them in if you can. Okay, and that's it. This is the uh, hinge clamp board set up for uh, screen printing. Okay, I hope you liked the video. Um, I had fun making it as usual. It's a lot of fun. It's a pretty cool project and I think I may, um, maybe we'll come back to it again and, and we'll do a version where we sink them in if I can figure out how to chisel that out without having to 
um, you know, because I'm not a woodworker, so, <laughs> you know, I have to figure those things out. But maybe we'll come back and visit this project again and, and look at it in a little bit more detail. But that's it for now. If you'd like to buy hinge clamps, you can actually get them through Amazon.com as well as um, a lot of other supply, uh, hobby supplies. And if you want to get the link uh, for the hinge clamps, the Speedbolt Deluxe and other type hinge clamps from Amazon, visit my print supplies page on the Catspit Productions website at catspitproductionsllc.com. Scroll down and visit the Amazon listing. And the first products on the Amazon listing are the hinge clamps. And if you purchase your hinge clamps through using those links, you help support the continued production of free educational videos about screen printing on YouTube, and I appreciate it a lot. So thanks a lot for watching, thanks a lot for your support, and uh, we'll see you next time. Please subscribe.